Hi there, thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCord. Today I have a question from Kevin, so I'm going to read you what he said. Dear Cyber Sue, I'm emotionally exhausted dealing with my relationship. We have been together in a committed partnership for one year. Well, at least I'm committed, but she seems to be confused about what she wants in our partnership. Looking back, it has been this way from the start. I should have done something about this a long time ago, but I kept hoping things would change. She tells me she loves me, but her actions speak differently. She's not very affectionate most of the time, and then out of the blue, she literally drags me into the bedroom and wants to have passionate sex for three hours. It's like I'm living with two different women. When I ask her about this, she says I'm imagining it, and I'm being insecure about her love for me. She did have a bad breakup two years before I met her, and I'm wondering if that has scarred her and left her emotionally unavailable to fully commit. She denies that there's any underlying problems and she is totally happy with me as her partner. I personally feel that she isn't being honest with me, with me and there is something going on that prevents her from totally committing to me. What do you think? Any advice you have about this would be greatly appreciated. Thank you so much, Kevin. Well, Kevin, thanks so much for writing me. And I have to agree here. I think that there is definitely something that's internalizing it within her either from a past breakup like you mentioned or maybe something that's been there for a long time I totally understand your frustration here because you are getting mixed signals you're not sure from one day to the next what the heck is going on some days she's very hot with you and other days she's cool and you're sitting here trying to pick up the pieces after you have this crazy sexual encounter with her to the next maybe two weeks of her being distant. She's not affectionate with you. You've asked her the questions and she says that you're the one that's insecure. That's not a really fair assessment on her part because you're being there, you're giving her as much as you can and she's not reciprocating. Your girlfriend could be in denial about what's actually happening here and she's buried it subconsciously with whatever maybe happened in her past. She may just think this, this behavior, the way she is with you, is just normal. That's the way she's always been with you from the start. And because you've still been there a year later, she thinks she doesn't have an issue. You are shortchanging your own personal happiness by hoping that she will figure things out. The big problem here, Kevin, is it's not up to you to fix her. And by her not owning her part in what's transpiring between you as a couple and you have suggested this to her many times she's not really accepting the fact that you're not really happy with what's going on here and that's not a good situation to have in any partnership because it's not healthy I would suggest that you make a counseling appointment now if she won't go with you then you might have your answer as to how far she's willing to go to make things good between the two of you. At the very least, you might get some clarity as to what's going on with you. Why Why are you staying there? What is it about her that is is holding you into this sort of romantic connection that isn't really that romantic? There might be something inside of you that needs to be talked about as well because why are you attracted to a woman who's not giving 100% back to you? And that's something that we can all learn from. That's what's great about going in relationships, coming out of a breakup and understanding and learning what you were supposed to. Unfortunately, this doesn't always happen and people take a lot of things from one partnership that didn't work out into the next because they're not dealing with all the stuff that transpired. Your girlfriend seems to be a little bit in denial about what's really going on here. And you need to find out if you're on the same page. Does she want to get married? Does she want to have kids? What do you want? It doesn't sound like you are both really communicating the way you should be. You're trying, you're making an effort, and she thinks she is every couple of weeks when she has this romantic interlude with you in the bedroom. That's not enough to sustain a partnership long term. 
and you know that that's why you're writing me here if she isn't willing to make any changes or understand that there needs to be changes doesn't want to go to counseling then you have to say to yourself what am I going to do moving forward here I want to be in a reciprocated loving partnership that's important to me so I'm going to do everything I can to better myself but if she's not willing to make any changes then I can't be there and accept this any longer that's what you have to understand here if she wants to finally comprehend there is a big issue here then you have a chance maybe just by suggesting the counseling to her maybe she'll give in and go with you let's hope that's the case if she doesn't do that, Kevin, then I'm pretty sure you've got your answer that she's just not into maybe having a long-term committed partnership. There's something that she's not ready about, something that's holding her hostage, her emotions hostage, so to speak. And it's not fair for you to have to be there waiting for her to get it together to be with you. Please keep me posted about what happens. You know you deserve great love, Kevin. You're a good guy and you're sticking it out trying to make things work and communicate with her, which is super amazing. A lot of people would just walk away. So talk to the counselor, see what they have to say, what they can do to help you, what you can do to help yourself. Thank you so much. Thanks everyone for tuning in today. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Please leave any comments you have that can maybe help Kevin. Leave them under the video here. Thanks so much everyone. Bye-bye.